Hello and welcome to the Switch Underground. My name is Danny. This is Skull Rogue. Now, let me just read this to you. Skull Rogue is a roguelike RPG inspired by the classics. Start with an ordinary skeleton and skill up to an incredible warrior. Dive into a world of eternal battles and endless progression. The further you are, the harder and more unique your enemies become, and so do you. Features equip a wide variety of weapons and uniforms, discover six biomes and randomly generated levels, level up your character endlessly in a multi-direction, capture items directly from the hands of the enemy, enjoy refined pixel graphics. This actually was a bit of a surprise gift from Scott, who gave us such lovely things as Metro. And this game, this is my second run at it. So here's what I'm gonna tell you, if you've never played this game before. Hero, this is where you go to level up, okay? It's not another game mode. If there's a plus next to hero, you can come here and spend your points, man. Okay, there's another tip here. It's really simple. We get in. There's two two commands. You got to drop the bomb and you got to attack. Now, an important thing to note here is that you can direct you can attack in any direction. It's kind of a dual stick thing, but it's not very apparent because your character doesn't actually animate that way. You just kind of swing up and stuff. So, if you can actually get a guy close to you, you can actually stun lock him a little bit. And then you see there's like, it's like increase your damage there. The items that you pick up will increase your damage and your armor. So, and you want to watch out for the traps. And you don't want to get cornered by these boys because they will destroy you quick. Second tip, save your bombs. Save it for, well, you'll see why. So all these levels kind of start out like this where it's, you know, kind of, see right here, I'm about to get screwed. See? dead dude so there's a number down there what is that what did it say 14 is that how many runs I've done oh no that's that must be my level so man these guys just attack so fast and I don't know if there's a block or anything so we're not we don't obviously we don't have to play this like super long to understand what's going on here I'm gonna try to stun lock this dude and take his gear Ooh, 28 damage, really good. But that little shockwave there holds him down. So we have a new helmet. One, before, like, I played for like a half an hour, right, before I finally figured it out. So one method I was doing is I was like, kind of kiting them around like pillars and stuff to see if I could, uh, get them isolated one at a time because I could always win the 1v1s but I was having a lot of trouble with like multiple enemies that was 18 damage that sucks but then you get in these situations where you get kind of trapped right so in this situation what I might do is actually just drop a bomb right there and it's got a hell of a blast radius on it dude uh oh this is, this is a no bueno we might be dead here most assuredly, we are dead. Oh, no, we're not. Look at that. Check this out. Oh, please. Yeah, dude. And we unlocked it. So, let's just see what kind of damage we're rocking now. So, we want that 28 damage. Protection is 87 with that. Every little sword that's on the ground here, you can kind of pick up. Ooh, there's a 103 protection. Oh, there's a 113. Yeah, dude. So then you kind of run around and chop all these barrels. We did level up. I don't think I can actually... Sp can I spend my points from here? I, I don't think I can. So you gotta actually wait to go out of the game and die before you can spend your points, I think. Don't quote me on that, though, because this game has surprised me a lot. By not telling me what to do. Alright. So we've got... Oh, I did invest in a skill to let me charge health and mana automatically. It looks like it's really slow, but it does work. So the furthest I've gotten is room three. So one thing you gotta worry about these guys, these damn spider webs, they'll get you. But I found like the best loadout you're actually gonna get is basically about right here. I maxed out at like 30 damage for this level. And you know what, we're actually just gonna Drop a bomby boy there. Then we're going to isolate this guy. So this is where it gets a little tricky. Because there's going to be a lot of them spawning. Oh man, I wasted a bomb there for sure. 
So this guy actually might get at me, and I don't want that. This is going to be really close. So these guys... I'm actually just going to do this. Okay, so far so good. This will be the trickiest one, I think. Because there's going to be a lot. So let's see how many we can get with that. Okay. So now we can get the 1v1 in. This boy's coming. Man, if you guys had seen what this was like with that first run, it was it was bad. It was real bad. But as you can see, I'm not like... What's the damage on that? No, this is like the same damage. And we're at like 113 protection, so we don't need anything else. So, I mean, the game has some skill to it, mostly in pathing and trying to find some potions, maybe. Uh-oh. See? This is bad. And then you're dead. And that, that was a run, dude. So now we see hero pluses here. So what do we want to spend our points in? We can have health or more mana. Oh, our record is four rooms. Okay. Attack range. That's usually good. But I think I want to invest in health recovery. Let's do health recovery and attack range. That seems good. And then we get back in it. Attack range. Let's see what... Oh, yeah, dude. See when you're like... It, wait, something happens like... When they start hitting you. Like, if there's a way to like evade or dodge I don't know it oh I forgot there's more enemies coming does it hit both of them oh yeah I can keep moving here that's fine come on boys some protection maybe oh oh we're dropping a bomb for those guys oh nailed it uh oh. Yo, this is bad. This is what we call a no bueno in the industry. Oh, that was lucky. I think that if you level up that bomb radius, dude, you can really do some damage. Ooh, damage 25, that's good. So let's try to get something with protection close to. Oh my god, that's great. So I don't think we're going to find anything better than that unless we get like a protection. Oh, 114. Oh, wait, that was 118. Give me that back. Unless we find a sword that does 30. What's the damage on that one? Yeah, 20, 23, 20. Ooh, 30. Yeah, okay. This is the loadout. This is about as good as you can get for the first few rooms. So I'm not even going to... I'm just going to worry about clearing some paths here. That's all. All I'm worried about. Clearing paths, maybe pick up some potions here. That would be beautiful. Thank you. Alright, let's be careful here. We're going to need to whack and run. Which is exactly what it was like when you would get home from high school. Or if you woke up too late. Okay. Okay, we're hurting here, dude. This is going to be rough. Okay, we're going to need to use a bomb. We're going to need this potion. We'll drop that off. Beautiful. Oh, oh. Whew, that was, that was close. Hey, boys. Enjoy that. Okay. So we're just going to try to be a little sneaky here. And there might be one more that they do. Okay, good. No, we're fine. Okay. So... As I was saying, you aren't going to find anything better than 30 in the upper one teens in these levels. So, let's try to clear room 3, huh? It's kind of garbage that, uh, that the traps don't seem to hurt them, but they do hurt the hell out of us. Luckily, these paths here are actually pretty nice. Come on, dude. Come get it. Don't be scared. 
Oh, wow. We just game the system. Okay, here they come. Lots of them. So, we're actually going to use a bomb, boy. Probably get almost all of them. Like I said, uh, it is a roguelike, even though it... Oh god, oh god, oh god, we're dead. Damn it. Alright, what can we level up here? We get two points again? I think we'll do that in explosive range. Alright, last run. Last run, then we'll put a pin in this guy. I mean, I can definitely see the progression, except when you're like, get two people on you, there's nothing you can do except try to back out and drop a bomb, but the stun lock there is insane. Obviously, that wasn't going to be the last run, because it sucked. Let's see what kind of weapons these boys are going to drop for us. Protection? Uh, whatever. Ooh... Well, protection was okay, weapons not so great, but that's okay. Ooh, there's a 118, that was pretty good. How about some damage? Can you drop like a 30 damage weapon, dude? Okay, looks like we're doing this the hard way. Straight up, just 20 damage, everybody. Come on. All that Gungeon training coming back. Oh god, okay. Oh, 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 this could be bad. So, what we're gonna need to do here... Ah. Oh, they got hit on me, though. Lots of them got hit in. Okay, let's see. Any good weapons here? 15, that seems good. We've damaged 26. There's a 118. And swords. 26, we're ahead of 26. How about damage, 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 damage. Oh, that was a damage 26, that seems okay. We're gonna whack this, see if a potion pops out. It does not. Alright, we're going to room 2. This game, after a while, I mean, it's... It's so simple that you have to kind of admire that. But at the same time, you're like, bro, what are you guys trying here? I mean, it's it's way harder than I think it should be. How about a 30, dude? 26, already had a 26, but whatever. So this is going to be real tricky, dude. Ooh, got some mana, though. You know, if everybody wants to come up here to the, uh, to the spider web, I'm good with that, honestly. Everybody just come over this way. Okay, maybe not. Okay, this is going to get tricky. That's going to kill a lot. But not all of them. Oh, that was it. Ooh, 27. We want that. Looking for a 30, dude. Any 30s? No 30s. 26. 13. How about a potion? We'll take a potion, too. Oh, we'll take that. All right, here we go. Room 3. We haven't made it past room 3 yet on the video. So we gotta try. Alright, this room kind of screwed us last time, but that's okay. Let's see how much range we can get here. Okay. Oh, that was close, dude. We almost shit the bed on that one. Okay, this is going to get real tricky. We probably didn't need to use a bomb there, but whatever. 
See, now we're in this situation where they're kind of isolating themselves, which might be something we just do. Ooh, 120, that's some good protection. Because there's going to be a lot of these bastards pretty soon. So we're, 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 ro we're rocking, what, 27 damage? Okay, so this is where we might, this is where we might shit the bed. And what we're going to do is drop a bomb and hope we nail them. We do? Ah, oh, we did it. So now we got to be careful. I saw 27 damage. But I thought I was rocking that already. Okay, so now the enemies are going to get pretty tough. So this is room four. If we beat room four, it's the farthest we've ever been. You know what I mean, Mr. Mr. Frodo? <gasps> Uh-oh. Damn. We sucked. Anyway. Skull Rogue. That's what it is, man. I mean, I don't know how to describe it other than that. It's simple in its design. And as soon as you actually understand where things are, you're good. Remember, it's dual stick, even though it doesn't look like it. And this hero thing is how you level up. You understand that, you'll be a god. And it is kind of cool. It says it's infinite. So, I mean, I'm, I'm actually kind of curious, like, if you invested a lot of time and went to the distance, you know, how high could you get? But uh, anyway, be good to each other, man. Stay safe out there. Pretty simple one today. Don't think it needs to be any more than that. In these times of weirdness and isolation, there's a there's there's a uh, there's a term that we use in programming. It's called kiss. It's called keep it simple, stupid, right? So you don't reuse assets. You know, whatever. There's technical crap. But uh, most of the time, and a lot of us are in our own heads about all of the crap that's going on around us. I mean, I'm all the time. But just focusing on the simple things gets you through tough things, you know? This might just be a 18 minute video on Skull Rogue, but you know what? That was 18 minutes. You and me didn't have to think about any bad stuff. Wait. Uh, no, I probably talked about it once or twice. So mostly not any bad stuff. But you know what? We had a dialogue together and we got to watch this game happen at the same time. And I think there's a lot of value in that, man. So, uh, take care.